Hey guys, how's it going? Kuprain here. So today I want to bring you guys a uh, highlights, a good deal of a flawless arena run I had with Mage. And uh, up until this expansion, you know, I'd give you guys some of these cool 12-0 clips, but I wasn't really, like, proud of them. You know, I'd be like, yeah, I got 12-0, it required me to play pretty, pretty damn well, I couldn't really afford to make many mistakes, and of course, I had to get extremely lucky, so, you know, here's the highlight. That's kind of the narrative that I tried to push, but uh, it's a little bit different this time. Uh, I know mages are still fairly popular in the high winds of arena, but those are generally some of the craziest control mages you've ever seen and you know you can't really rely on getting those decks the average mage deck is actually fairly poor these days and that's kind of a shocker i talked about my stats since the mean streets of gadsen has been released and mage was definitely at the very bottom even though i had played the class quite a bit so even though i got 12-0 with mage the other day i actually didn't even get 12 wins with mage uh, until this 12-0 happened. So uh, it's a pretty interesting thing. I've tried to really relearn the class from the ground up. You know, as as someone who tries to push 7 plus wins in Arena, I simply cannot do it with the control decks. So I adapted my play style. I went with a much more tempo style decks and the deck to come, it definitely was that. It was definitely a tempo mage deck. But overall, the card quality was pretty poor. And considering my stats and considering the deck didn't really carry me that much, I was actually really, really proud and really impressed with how well the deck did. So I want to share that experience with you guys. And certainly, there is something to be learned here. Now, I can't 100% figure all that out. I've drafted Tempo Mage decks in the past, and some of them have done very poorly. But uh, yeah, take a look at the games see what you gather from them, and hopefully, at the end, you'll come out a better player. So, enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, I'm a masochist. Let's go with mage again. Alright. There I am. No. I, I still have a few close games. And uh, I'm almost rank 5. I'm like 100 away from rank 5, I think. Uh, really? I'm gonna go Adventure Co. I don't have quite as much respect for uh, the Archmage. Just lost 3 in a row. Yeah, my last Mage deck was that Kazakus Disaster with double Polymorph. Well. We're still... Uh, we're still ready for Kazakas with this deck. No dupes yet. Which means we won't get them, right? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Nope. Kazakas Inc. Okay. <laughs> Almost. Uh, oh, these are bad legendaries. This is worse than a spider tank. But yeah, it's Sir Finley is really bad. I'm gonna go with the ooze. I don't have that many threes, and it's a pretty nice one, I think. Um, sure, I guess. I don't have many one drops, so. <sighs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, three drops. It's really not that many. I'm gonna go with the silver hand. Fine. Hmm. Water well, really is pretty good. Wow. Well, that's a pretty piss poor deck. Fine. Well, there's people who have uh, level 4 uh, uniques in Star Wars. Like a few people near the top of the ladder who have spent like five to $10,000. They have like level 4 characters, level 4 uniques. Um, 
like level eight and nine epics. It's like really insane. But, yeah. Oh, okay. Doing pretty well with tempo here. If I get really lucky, I might get like a level three character, because all I do is trade legendaries. But um, I don't have any good uniques even at level two. But you'll see it. Don't think it matters too much. Mm, okay. I mean, that's going there for sure. I guess I'll trade. I'm just gonna smork. I have a little bit of direct damage here. Curves of livelihood is what most people would consider free time. A decent portion of the time, yes. A decent portion of the time, no. Oh, crap. Seriously? Okay. Fucking ice barrier in the deck. That hurts. Side effects? No. Trust me. Got lethal. I think. I have to sacrifice both of these. Alright. And that puts it at two. So I can ping. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. The second image on Google. All right. <sighs> Public restroom. Those aren't really yellow, okay. And that's tile. I think that's like white tile that became brown over the years. And it's like yellow lighting. That's totally different, okay. Well, it's at least slightly different. Yeah. have to look it up then I'm right, Kappa. Sure. How good is that Logitech keyboard? Pretty happy with it. Okay. There's actually no health reason to go vegan. People who are vegan are all those idiotic animal rights retards. Uh, okay. It's a little narrow-minded, I'd say. Yeah. Exposed. You find the creepy one. No, it's a good thread. Got a Nova, I guess. All right, I guess. All right. Excuse me, you are on fire. Yeah, it's a bit weak. Yeah. 
My favorite vegetable besides potatoes. Mm, that's a tough one. I really like potatoes. I don't know. I like tomatoes, but I guess tomatoes not a vegetable, right? Um, I like onions. Beans. Beans are legumes, right? They're not vegetables. Tomato is a fruit from a plant. You like eggplant? I, I really like... It's like a Romanian slash Greek thing, I guess. I haven't seen it anywhere else that I've been. It's called like... Um, damn, that sucks. It's called like eggplant salad. But I don't really like eggplant in general, so... It's a bit of an anomaly there. This guy's had some pretty good answers. Damn it. Damn it. It's a Bulgarian food as well. Beets, I don't really like beets too much, but I know beets are very, very good for you. Okay, well, this guy's deck is pretty fucking mental. He's gotten pretty lucky with his answers. That was the best of four, by the way. Worgen was an extra four damage. It's getting hot in here. Oh, I win. Pretty good, I guess. Oh, like official dual class, like Paladin and Priest. There's only two classes, Reno and Patches. Good call, my mistake on that one. A little bit risky, but going second as a bad mage against the warlock at 6 0, you have to uh, turn the risk levels to 11 there, so have to do it. Bad mage. It's a 66.2 mage with no board clears and one direct damage spell. That is very objectively a bad mage deck. So many possibilities. Is Warlock the best arena class right now? I would speculate that Warlock has the most consistent high quality decks. Does that make it the best? I don't know. Um, but uh, until I see stats, um, I wouldn't just blatantly believe anything.
The last crystal would be great. Nice. This does more damage than Sunwalker and Taunt is useless. It doesn't have any minions, so... I get him to 1, but leave a 6-1 on the board, that is probably higher risk. Jiraxis is not playable right now, neither is Melganus. Snipers must be taking the night off. That's nice of them. Did I make the description images myself? Yes. I do uh, I do all the visuals. All the banners, all the end screens, all the buttons, all the headers. Uh, my Photoshop skills are pretty basic, but good enough. You know what, I'm gonna play that. It's fucking 9-0. The chance he has coin SI is pretty high. Deadly poison. Okay. I don't really like working with uh, other animators, even though they obviously have much more skills. It's just that it, it's so tedious to go back and forth. Oh, the emoticons. I've made like no emoticons. That is all like artists and stuff. That is, you know, pretty precise work. You have to be pretty specialized to do a good job. Tempo! The emotes look like dog shit. Right, I mean, that might be true, but that's what people actually want. People are not really really going to use emoticons that are like, wow, that looks, that looks really pretty. No, people are going to use, like, Crip's face that looks like it just got hit by a car. Right, so... That's what I'm going to try to deliver. At last, a worthy disciple. Ripperoni. Tempo time. Oh, wasn't I supposed to do an 80 gold thing? Well, I'm going first, and I have a pretty good curve. And I don't have a one-drop, but I only have one one-drop in the deck. Oh. It's when I get 12 wins, apparently. What if I don't get 12 wins? Mm -hmm. Dude, that was several games ago that he offered to play. Okay. Your mother was a hmm. Fine. <laughs> I don't want to polymorph this early. It is very early to polymorph. It's a good curve, but my opponent has some pretty nice answers here. Oh, 
Not an enemy. I'm late. I'm late. I am uh, not doing as well as I'd like. He has a pretty nice curve this game. Oh, yes. Holy shit. Crimancer would have showed up as active, it's still bugged. Not a sniper confirmed. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely an 11-0 deck. Am I getting flame strike too? No fucking way. Oh, okay, that's fine. Excuse me, you are on fire. Now the sooner I play it, the less likely is he has an answer. And if I can hit him in the face for 9, I might win a race game. And rip. Oh. Okay. Very good spare part there. You wanna cast a spell? Oh no! No, I can't look! No, not at 11 0! Don't you fucking get polymorph! No! Oh. Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay, well, it's still, it's still pretty good spell. Alright, no, no Pavel. It's fine. He was holding flame strike. What? Okay. Well, we put our Kraken in defensive mode here. Oh my god. Dude, this guy's deck is unbelievable. Alright. Do you know how crazy it is to top deck an ethereal conjurer when you're losing on the board and have no cards? It is absolutely mental. Okay. Oh yeah, I went first. There's no way I would- oh my god, we have to survive this again! If I went second, there's no chance I would have won this. Flame strike again. I don't know, like every card is fine here, so. Wanted, dead or alive. Bestial fucking wrath.
12 0. <laughs> if that doesn't tell you how broken it is to go first, I don't know what does. Like, that guy's deck was like light years ahead of mine. Dude's deck, one second, dude. Dude's deck was probably 10 points higher on Hearth Arena. Maybe even more. Sixty-six point mage, twelve zero. Yeah. Of course, crypt goes twelve zero. The god tier, arena mage deck. 